Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're taking a look at what's new in iOS 10.3 Beta 3. So there's a few more improvements than we saw in iOS 10.3 Beta 2, which is nice. Uh, still not a very significant update, but there are still a few uh, new additions here in this update. So the first thing I noticed is speed. Of course, I have a 7 Plus, so it's going to be snappy enough. But I'm noticing that this phone, uh, my phone is just performing a lot more snappy here and a lot faster on iOS 10.3 Beta 3. It may just be the placebo effect where I feel like it's faster because I just updated it, but it definitely feels like there is uh, a, a significant speed enhancement here on my iPhone. Also battery life, my phone is around 85% right now and I updated it uh, about half an hour ago. I've been using my phone, I'd say for about, I, I have about an hour of usage here on my phone, so battery life is okay. Of course, when you're installing a beta, it's gonna take up a little bit of battery life. Uh, but not, I'm not too uh, upset about the battery life. It's, it's pretty good so far. Uh, one other thing here is also the uh, folder opening speed. It seems a little bit faster than in beta 1 and beta 2. I specifically remember in iOS 10.3 beta 1, the folder opening speed was very slow, kind of un so, uh, so slow it was actually kind of annoying. Uh, here you can see it's kind of back to how it was in iOS 10.2 where you can open the folder uh, pretty quickly here. Uh, jumping into the new actual additions that Apple made, the first thing is in uh, uh, Touch ID and Passcode. You can see here uh, a small design change. We have uh, dots instead of, I think, uh, just blank lines before. So as you fill in your passcode, you can see uh, just the dots will fill in. So if my password was one, two, three, four, you can see those dots just fill in. I think before it was just uh, lines here that it filled in. So yeah, a slight design change uh, under Touch ID and Passcode. Another thing also in settings, if you go into general about, we have this new option uh, in applications. You can see there's an arrow there and it will show applications that aren't updated and uh, will not support future versions of iOS. So it says these applications, these applications may slow down your iPhone and may not work with future versions of iOS. So this is saying that uh, in iOS 11, uh, iOS is going to be 64-bit only, and I think these applications are 32-bit, so these will not support uh, iOS 11 in the future. So it says you can contact the uh, developer. If you click on it here, you can go ahead and send an email within the App Store. But yeah, a new version of app compatibility uh, under settings general about. So you can see there's a new arrow there, you can click on it. And uh, if you have iOS 10.3 beta 3, you can go ahead and see uh, what applications aren't compatible with your device. So other than that guys, those are the, uh, the updates that I am uh, aware of in iOS 10.3 beta 3. One thing I didn't mention in my last video about beta 2 is if you go into spotlight search and go search, this little emoji icon is now inverted so you can see it a bit better. I wish Apple would do this system wide because I kind of like the way this little emoji button looks here. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for iOS 10.3 beta 3. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like this video. Also subscribe and like. My name is Mike, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.